The mighty Niagara River flows into Lake Ontario, near the historic site of Fort Niagara. This week on Fishing 411 TV, Mark joins forces with Captain Matt Yablonski of Wet Net Charters to target lake trout and brown trout where the river meets the lake. Hold on tight, because Lake Ontario is bumpy, but the fishing action is as historic as Fort Niagara. Six feet of water, should be hitting bottom here pretty soon. Holy smokes, that didn't take but two seconds. <laughs> I get out of the water here and I'll see about a landing net. We got something good here, pulling, pulling pretty tight. Is that old? Old Faithful, double trouble. <laughs> Someone's got to take a turn in the barrel. That's, I hear you. So I'm, uh, I'm going to be uh, having a positive outlook here, and I'm going to go with a big net. So I think like you got a solid rod bang. Maybe you got the right net in your hand. Here she comes. You can see my three-way here. Big old Laker. All right. Woohoo! How about that? Lake Ontario, Lake Trout. We just got started here on the Niagara Bar, running these uh, maglips. Double trouble, did them in. Beautiful lake trout. All right, time to put her back. Ready to go. What we, what we do here on the Niagara Bar is we set up in the river channel. It's 65 to 70 feet of water. Point the boat north out in the lake, and then there's a really steep uprise. It comes up from 65 right to about 19. Fish seem to be hanging right as soon as you start hitting that 20 feet of water. So we're going to be just making short passes here, getting right on top of the fish. So it's time to go back and get another one. I got them. This one feels a little lighter. Might lighter. Might be, might be a different species. Might be a different species. Let's see. Good thing. We want to see a different species. <laughs> <clears throat> we uh. We definitely don't have it to ourselves today, though, do we, Matt? No, no, we don't. Uh, we're a little company a, out here. But this is the first fishable day you've had in, in four or five days, right? Yeah. And yeah, it so. was uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday was, was not good, and Friday was really bad. <laughs> Just a lot of wind. It's the first day we've had in a week that hasn't had, haven't had a lot of wind. Well, it is Saturday, so you got to give these guys a break. So. True. Mm. That's it. It's a productive fishery. It's a popular fishery. And, uh, the and there's are, a lot of fish out here this year, too. Right. The thing that surprises me is how well you can control these fish with just, it's just a bass rod you have. This is a seven foot medium action yeah. you know, bait caster. It's really all you need, you know. A lot, of, a lot of people think of trout and salmon, you need eight and a half, nine and a half, ten and a half foot rods. When you're on a boat, seven foot is the perfect length. Yes, sir. 
Well, I was hoping it was a different species. I no, think, I, it, I think, I think it turned into a lake trout. I think we know what it is, yes. <laughs> but that's all right. That's not a bad thing? No. That's not a bad thing. Down to the swivel. Okay. He still comes. wants to get into that boat. Yeah, he does. He swim out here a little bit and we'll get a good look uh -oh. at him. Oh, it is a brownie. Oh, 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 it's a nice brownie. It is a brownie. I thought it was swimming up high. It spins around this way. We'll get a good, good scoop on him. It's a healthy fish, too. Mm -hmm. Tenacious. He's not giving up. No, he's not. He's not giving up. Healthy. They're not starving. Oh, yeah, baby. There we go, sir. There we go. That's a beautiful fish. Look at the fish. size of that brownie. Oh, football. Absolute Whee! football. I'm just, I'm just at, at awe in this fish. I couldn't even know what to say, but that is a fat Niagara River brown trout. But that 3.5 mag lip out there, as soon as we come up that ledge, got to 17 foot of water, just hit it like it was, like it needed to eat it. A little bit of a kite here? Yeah, a little kite, a little male. This, this fin right here is clipped, it's missing. That means it's a Canadian stock brown. They, they fin clip the front fins on these brown trout. But you don't New York clip them? No. Okay. Nope. That's right. how we can kind of tell the difference. Well, thank you to our friends in Ontario. That's right. <laughs> That's you. a beautiful thing. All right. And uh, we're going to put him back and let somebody else get a chance to catch yep, him. For man, sure. What a gorgeous fish. Ready to go. <laughs> Special considerations are provided by the Lake St. Clair Walleye Association and by Stryker Brands. Go early, go late, go prepared. Special considerations are provided by Fish Hawk Electronics. Fishing without a fish hawk is called boating. Now you can feel them digging at 50, 50 feet. You can, I can feel it on the bottom now. Last couple passes, I couldn't feel it down there. You want to keep, you want to keep the plug as close as you can to the bottom without you know, being too close to the bottom. Uh, everything down there is zebra mussels and rocks. Not a lot of snags, but if you uh, get too close and you're digging, you'll cut the line up pretty quick on the zebra mussels. So keeping that bait in the strike zone is the key. And when you're seeing them on the fish finder 30, 35 feet down, you make sure your plug's down there when you get there. Good Lord. Matt is on fire. <laughs> Well, you gave me access to the maglip box. I got to pick the one I wanted. <laughs> <laughs> you got to catch one quick here. You're gonna, or you're gonna be all-time net man in this boat. That's okay. I'll put my rod away and let you catch a few. Actually, I'm, I'm pretty good with the all-time net man thing. So you just do what you're doing, my friend. Um, you're doing got something some very cool. It's coming in pretty quick. Might be another brown trout. probably the best year we've ever had for brown trout. Um, starting mid-summer through fall was just phenomenal brown trout. We got another brownie! Mm -hmm. September, October, November, it's just been phenomenal brown trout fishing. Look at that! Not quite as big as the last one, but a beautifully marked fish. Thank you. It's got Gorgeous some beautiful spots. Oh, that is a pretty yeah, fish. That's an awesome that looking is a fish. pretty, pretty fish right there. What do you think, Mark? Man, I tell you what, that is beautiful. It doesn't get much better than that, man. It really doesn't. These Niagara brown trout are just phenomenal looking fish, yeah, man. They're sweet. Beautiful fish for sure. Well, and, and as far as table fare, if you wanted to keep some, they're very good eating. Uh, they're like a buttery sweet flavor. So, but this girl gets a pass. She goes back to live another day. You know, the Niagara bar is not, it's not a secret. A lot of people know about it. It's been a, really a world-class fishery for a lot of years, but most people associate this body of water in the springtime. And I've been here in the spring, and it's exceptional in the spring, a real good mixed bag. But this fall fishery is just as good, and not as many people have really dialed onto it. And I don't know if it's because guys are busy with deer hunting or they're busy, you know, busy with other hunting things, but if you haven't been here in the fall, you really owe it to yourself to come here and check this out. It is exceptional, exceptional in the fall. And, and today is a Saturday, so there's quite a few guys around here, but if today was a Monday, you'd be fishing with just a half a dozen boats out here. So a lot of water, a lot of fish to be caught. So um, if you haven't checked out the Niagara Bar, um, you haven't checked it out in the fall, definitely give it a roll. I think you'll find it is well worth the trip coming here to Lewiston, New York. We actually going to call our shot. I mean, that's only another way to make a challenge of this, right? You catch, would... fish, you catch a fish on every drift, right? And, uh oh, now, uh -oh. What, now what are you going to do? Now what are we going to do? Now what are we going to do? <laughs> now what are we going to do? Talk about calling your shot. Well, that wasn't calling anything, so. Uh -oh. I catch up to mine. I don't know if I can catch is up to Is it coming up? He's coming up. He might be a brownie. Mine is, mine is not. Mine is a. Mine is staying down a little bit. Huh? Mine is a lake trout that is <laughs> glued to the bottom. Well. well 
who knows? Maybe I'll get one to the net here first. So we'll see here. Yeah, mine's not coming in anytime soon. <laughs> I'm, looked, I'm hooked into a dinosaur, I think. I'm just glad to be hooked up. I yes, mean, sir. Matt's putting on a clinic here today, and I'm just kind of going along for the fun ride. <laughs> so, talk about dinosaurs. I'm afraid that's what I got here. You got a dinosaur too? I got a dinosaur too. You stay on your fish. I can net this thing, I think. You got it? Yeah, I think I can. Okay. Well, I'm living dangerously. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Whew, that sinker don't whack me in the head. Okay. Got one in there, Matt. All right. Very healthy fish here. Very healthy fish. Leader? Oh, well, now it explains a little bit about it. It's not it. a sturgeon <laughs> or a 20 pounder. No. That, one, that one bit more creatively than usual. <laughs> Anybody can catch them in the mouth. That's right. I mean, honestly, I've, uh, I've been known to saying that many times. So. It's hard to catch them in the dorsal fits. He just kind of missed he it. Got he got He got there we go. I had to do a backwards net job, but Whew. I'll tell you what, he'll, he'll what work. The, oh man, my left arm is tired. <laughs> <laughs> Dueling lake trout. <laughs> Niagara bar, baby. I love it, I love it. What a beautiful couple of fish. Unbelievable. These fish fight so good. Oh my God. Sometimes lake trout get a bad rap. They don't fight, they don't fight. Come no. out here, bite tackle, right boy. Bite tackle, they fight, and they fight like my crazy. My arm's tired. <laughs> I know. Beautiful thing. Let's get these guys back. Yeah, let's put them back. Special considerations provided by Abyss Battery. Power your pursuit. Special considerations are provided by the Ultimate Sports Show Tour, Michigan's premier sports shows. Yeah, baby, look at that. Travelite Truck Campers presents the 411 on fishing. If you've watched Fishing 411 in the past, you've seen us using Pro Cure. We use it all the time and we use it on everything. It's one of those things that's just a confidence booster for us. And the thing about Pro Cure is it's made with real bait fish. So in the case of this bottle here, I have smelt. This is real smelt ground up turned into a super gel that we can put on a lot of different things. And this super gel is sticky, it sticks to a lot of different things. One of the things it doesn't stick great to though is our traditional style plastics, like a split tail minnow or a paddle tail minnow. It just seems to want to slide off the plastic. So one of the things that we've been doing to try to keep the scent in the plastic is actually taking a needle, which comes from Procure, you can purchase this needle, put it on the bottle, and then you can actually inject the scent right into the plastic. It's beneficial for a couple things. One, it keeps the scent lasting a lot longer, but more importantly, you don't have to get that super gel on your hands. Every time you pick up that plastic, you're holding that plastic in your hand, you don't have to worry about getting this smelly Procure all over yourself. So just a simple needle that you can purchase from Procure, sticking it in the plastic and then squeezing it back out, impregnates that plastic with the scent that you're trying to fish, keeps everything clean, and it's a great system fishing Procure with plastics. So the way I set my, uh, my lures up is I run a three foot lead to my sinker and a five foot lead to the plug. So I, I want that three foot sinker to keep that swivel up off the bottom so that I'm not dragging the plug in the bottom. With that sinker up, the plug, it, it kind of lifts up as, as the sinker pulls it. If that line's down too far and your sinker's too close to the bottom, it just kind of digs the plug into the bottom. So you just get a little rising action as you're coming into the shallow water, so um, you just don't want it dragging on the bottom. As we get closer to the shallow water and into that 20 feet, I'll reel in some line just to make sure my angle's more like a 45 degree angle instead of uh, laying out. There's fish. There's a fish, Matt. All right. Good job, Mark. Get them. That's what we like to hear. As soon as we hit these waves, it's right where they're laying. They're laying. It's very tell predictable. You're Once you've made a couple of passes here, it's very, very predictable. You, you, know, you just get dialed in, you're ready. You know when the bite's going to come, so you're ready for when it happens. So you don't get those surprise bites. I'm going to reel my line in and get out of the way here so I can drive the boat and net your fish because the waves that, that were trolling into are definitely steering my boat for me. A lot of weight here, boy. They are powerful fish. We were kind of hoping today that we'd see all three species. We haven't seen any steelhead today, but the water's really not ideally suited for steelhead right now, but 
You cannot complain a good mix of browns and a good mix of lake trout. Um, who could complain about that? What a wonderful day fishing here in the Great Lakes. Here he comes. Oh yes. Nice lake. Another beautiful green fish. Got him. What a beautiful fish. <laughs> you gotta love that. You really gotta love that. You know, the maglip comes in a variety of sizes. There's a 2.0, a 2.5, a 3.0, a 3.5, a 4.0, a 4.5, and even a 5.0. But if you come into the Niagara region, there's really only two sizes that are popular here. Uh, the 3.0 is very popular here, and the 3.5 is very popular. In the river, we find ourselves using the 3.0 most of the time, uh, because the river gets pretty clear sometimes. Downsizing is a good idea. But out here on the bar, um, the 3.5 is often very popular. And today, because the water is dirty, uh, Matt has insisted that we run the 3.5s here, he wants more flash, more vibration in order to draw those fishing in dirty water. And it's played out very, very well for us. But on the bar, you can do the three O's or the three fives. In the river, primarily, you're going to be running three O's. But you just can't go wrong with a maglet. It's a fishy plug that catches everything that swims. Special considerations are provided by Cisco Fishing Systems, your fishing equipment experts. Special considerations are provided by ProCure, ruthlessly effective bait sets. You know, the stretch of water that we're catching fish is ridiculously small. From the boats behind us to that green can, we're only talking 200 yards. So it's a very small area that's very, very fishy at the moment. Fish you know, on! As mentioned, very fishy at the <laughs> very moment. Very fishy at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just a small area. You know, towards the river, it's 60, 60 to 80 feet of water. And then it comes up a steep ledge right to where we're at. You know, I just hooked this and the boat was in 17. My lure was probably still in the 30s. It's a really steep ledge and they just sit right on there. You can see these waves coming in from the north. They're coming out of the lake. Well, behind us is the river current pushing out. So where the lake current meets the river current is where it holds all the bait. And those fish just pile up there right on the bait. Because those two currents meet. Well, the dead giveaway too, Matt, is that look at the birds. I mean, you got you got a couple hundred gulls hanging over our head right now. Oh, and yeah. The gulls know that the food is here. The, the fish know the food is here. And uh, apparently, so do the fishermen, because uh, <laughs> we've got a nice crowd of boats around us right now. Yes, we do. Ooh, look at the size of this brownie. Oh, that's a big brown right there. That is a beauty. That is a beauty. I don't want to do a head I don't want to do backwards flat shot on him if I can, Matt. That's a bad bed. I hear you. I like him to come head first if possible. Come on, baby. There we go. There we go. When the water stays warm out here, it's 44 degrees. That's really good for the bait fish. Uh, the longer it stays warm, the, f the bigger those bait fish get. They're going to have a better chance of making it through winter into spring to feed these fish. And that's what these fish are out here eating, is those young of the year alewives right now. If you're coming out to the Niagara Bar and you're going to run maglip, there's four colors you absolutely have to have in your tackle box. And I'll go over those really quickly. This one right here has done the damage for us today. It's double trouble. It's got a chartreuse tip and it's got a, a chartreuse tail with chrome in between. That is a, a must have. The other one that's really popular here is Grinch. And you can see this one's a little bit of chartreuse in green and a chrome body. That's a, a go-to one as well. Uh, very similar to the double trouble is the lemon head, except for it doesn't have chartreuse front and back. It has chartreuse just on the nose here. So, uh, head is one that you got to have and the one that started it all green machine and now uh, the reason we have this one is because the local captains demanded that we do it so green machine uh, green over chrome very good so those four colors are going to catch you fish on the Niagara Bar Niagara River every single trip oh yeah oh yes indeed how big is yours, man? I don't know. I'm caught the motor. Okay, there's one. I'm about two seconds away here. So I got it. I got it. Oh, it'll fall off the boat. All right. I haven't had so much fun fishing in a long time. <laughs> I'm glad I could be a part of it, man. Heck yeah, I really man. I look I forward to the trip fishing with you. And it's been a while, so yeah. having a blast.
There's the fish. Man, this is an unbelievable day. This is gonna go down in the books here, man. And you've showed us some really good, <clears throat> excuse me, you've showed us some really good fishing here over the years, but yeah. this one's gonna go down in the books. It's <laughs> something special. Awesome. Something special. You know, it's different when you, you know, you got pole in hand. We're kind of trolling. You know, I'm using my, using the electric motor to, you know, make our speed just right. But it's rod in hand trolling. You know, it, don't do that very often. <laughs> it's true, it's true. And this, you guys are in love with this three-way rig here. And I never have really fished it much until I started coming to the Niagara region. And I'll tell you what, it's it's deadly effective. It is deadly. It's deadly effective. And we're gonna put him right in the middle of the I get to play charter captain like I'm used to. Well, good I got to get your fish for you, good Mark. Good for you. That's right. You didn't. That, my other one, I did. did yeah, my you own managed fish. your own fish. You were too busy catching fish. Well, that's, you know, these what's things, wrong with that? These huh? things happen. Come on. You see that three-way? She's getting close. She's getting close. Get somebody to walk her back here for you. Oh, I got her. Nice, nice lake trout. You know, the lake trout is not the most loved fish in the Great Lakes, but I love them enough for everybody. They're big, they're beautiful, they're strong. And if you don't like the way they taste, let them go. <laughs> Let somebody else catch them. I'll be happy to catch them for you. My word. You know, my name is Mark Roman. I can even watch him fishing 4 one I'd like to thank Matt Yamblowski for taking us out in the Niagara Bar and showing us one world-class fishery. If you get a chance, come on down here, look up Matt. He'll take you fishing, he'll catch fish, and you'll be coming back just like me year after year. Year. See you same time, same place next year. Closed captioning is provided by Precision Trolling Data. Fishing 411 TV is brought to you by Offshore Tackle, Starcraft Marine, Suzuki Marine, J Sporting Goods, Smooth Move Seats, Niagara Falls USA, Eagle Claw, Bill Lewis, and Yakima Bait Company. <laughs> <laughs> Man! The Lord is called Double Trouble. We're Double Trouble. What do we trouble have in today? our hands right here? We're definitely Double, double Trouble. trouble. <laughs> it doesn't get any better. It is so, so much fun.